Okay, today I want to talk about a certain graphic novel that I really want to, wanted to review ever since I started doing videos, but never got around time or chance to do it. Um, I mean, this is going to be, this, I don't think this will be a daily video I'm going to do, but, you know, I don't, I'm also into reviews, and we'll see where this goes. If I like it, then I might make it daily as well, but uh, I'm going to review this little beauty right here, The Walking Dead, uh, the series as a whole, because they're... Every single book they make in volumes are great. Uh, there's uh, four hardcover books. Uh, the hardcover books have the volumes in it, in it. The volumes have the issues in it. They do come in issues. So basically, it's like a, it's like a stairway. It goes issues, volumes, hardcover. Uh, if you are if you haven't really read the Walking Dead series, then just pick up the books and then pick up the volumes after that. But uh, the books are they're pretty good to read. They are actually, not, actually it's not pretty, it's actually really good, I can't get enough of it. I, every time I finish a volume or a book, I just wonder what happens next. So, is it worth the time reading it? What is The Walking Dead? The Walking Dead is a zombie uh, novel that you see, that is about this police officer who's trying to survive zombie outbreak, protecting his family and friends from the apocalypse. So you know, that's pretty much generic. It's generic, like a generic zombie comic book. But this is what gets me. Here's what gets me: <clears throat> the um, drawing, the way that's drawn in the book is black and white, not color. And you could argue, oh, but that's bad. I like color. Well, you know, black and white's dandy for this because I cannot picture that. I cannot see this being any good with color. I like the black and white. Of this comic book, it stands out and you know, it makes itself its own original series. Anyways, anyways, to, to go on, uh, the writing is good. I mean, it makes the characters stand out and make more. You know, you can attach to them, you can relate to them. I can relate so many of my friends that, to these characters, and I can relate myself to a character. I can, you can really relate anyone. Thus, make it really hard to see one either die or just go away. You really feel, oh, I, that sucks. I don't want that guy to die. I mean, you, these characters die, and you don't expect them to at all. And you know, I, I'm probably spoiling that, but you know, it's just such a great novel. Even if I did spoil it, I would still recommend reading it because it's such a great novel for you not to read. It spans such a great time, and I will say this though, it. Volumes one through eight, which is books one through four, uh, amazing. It, it just it just blew my mind a lot because you you see these these that you know characters and they expand and then you see more things thrown into the story. That's really fun to read and understand. But then when you get to volume nine, the story just turns around and says, you know what, this is the story now. Get used to it. And it does a very good job of steering the story in the way that it wants to go instead of it just sticking with the story. I mean, it, it's technically the same story, but they just added more destinations in the story and makes it more of an important thing. So I, I would recommend you actually reading it. Volume 9 is, was my favorite one so far. Volume 8 was actually pretty good too. Volume 8 made me a little sad. Then Volume 9 this came up and surprised me with a little moment of happiness to sadness again, uh, but you, you'll see what I mean. Like, that's what I'm talking about, that this, that this is the only comic book that makes me feel, you know, so into the characters. It makes me want to know what happens next every time I close the book. I cannot go out without saying, when's the next one coming out? I really want to see. I mean, if I know the economic, the economy is doing poorly, but if there's one thing, one comic book you have to buy and between The Walking Dead and some generic DC Marvel comic, by The Walking Dead. It's really good, it's really original, and it's just really fun to read. I could go on forever about how good it is. I'm already putting five minutes just because of this one little review. I give it a 10 out of 10. If you don't buy it, you're a fucking retard. And just get out of here. It's a very good, good novel. If you don't take your time and read it, then no, you don't deserve to read because it's really well written, it, it's really, 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 really good, 
image does it, so uh, just Google image, or actually, I'm not even sure you'll be able to find it that way. It does it, the, the publisher's image, so when you go to a Barnes Noble or Borders, be sure you see you ask them, or oh, the Image Comics, or where's The Walking Dead? They'll know what they're they'll just take you there. But it's a really, really, really good comic book. I highly recommend you pick it up. That is it for this review. See you next time.